and in politics, the Secretary General and other high-ranking UN administrators are on Luna for a security summit. We await the official briefing later tonight. Deputy Undersecretary Christian Avasarala has been sequestered to an undisclosed Earth location for emergency government operations. Archangel is arriving. Stand by for resume post. Ma'am, if you need anything at all, you can use So this is the Secretary General's hideaway. Not bad for a coffin. Nishan, where the fuck are you? Good morning, Madam Deputy Undersecretary. How was your trip in? You mean my descent? I'm being guarded like a fucking war prisoner. What do you think? Was it another assassination plot? Could be any damn thing. With everyone on Luna for the summit, I am suddenly the highest ranked official on the planet. Congratulations. Sure. It doesn't mean a shit. But at least it's a chance to annoy my enemies. Where is your voice coming from anyway? I don't see a comms link. What in the flying fuck? Uh, apologies for the dramatic reveal. I know how you dislike me pinging your terminal all day. This seemed to be a workable solution. Uh, I also took the liberty of having security bring down some of your personal items. Jesus. How long do you think I'll be down here? Okay, messages. And Admiral Krusko has sent an urgent message about a situation near Juno. And Undersecretary Mendez is still hounding you about the reorganization plan. That's all? No, there's also a message from Callisto. Are you sure? Yes, it reached your receiver about 45 minutes ago. I forwarded it to your hand terminal. Okay, go back to your dock. Let me get to work. Christian, I hear you're working out of the bunker today. Is it as ostentatious as everyone says? Only thing missing is a chandelier. I hear you were looking for me. Ah, yes. Listen, your role as Undersecretary of Peace Operations is invaluable, of course. And yet? And yet, the Belter threat calls for greater scrutiny. It should be the work of a committee, one that I'm shocked has informed earlier. Anyway, the Security Council is planning a vote on the issue. What issue? The issue of whether to strip me off my powers and throw the belt into chaos? I know big changes can be challenging, especially when you've been in the UN for so long. But this is a move to protect our people. The belt is on the verge of collapse. And you want to appoint a bunch of people who have no experience there. Explain how that protects anyone. We'll assemble the best team we can. Any transition invites some amount of instability. But, listen, maintaining peace in the belt is more than one person can accomplish. Everyone is finally acknowledging all the work you do. By taking my job. Oh, don't think of it that way. If you excuse me, I've got another call. Always a pleasure. Under Secretary Avasarala, with Fleet Admiral Hold indisposed on Luna, we've been instructed to defer to you for matters of lawful jurisdiction. At 1800 hours, the MCRN battleship Ramses II entered Juno Moon Space. We have hailed the Ramses II three times, and we are now within our rights to seize the vessel. However, I've been ordered to seek your go-ahead on all matters in the belt, regardless of urgency or severity. 
Seeing as you are a civilian administrator, I urge you to trust your military officers to make the right decisions. I eagerly await your response, but I must warn you, if we do not receive orders soon, we will be forced to engage. Admiral Krusko, out. Civilian administrator, my ass. Brass prick. This Cusco seems damn sure of himself. That makes me even less confident of his assessment. I better look into it myself before responding. Hi, Mom. It's me. They lifted the comms embargo, and I wanted to say hey. I haven't heard from you in a few days, and, well, I'm worried. You took the news about Marie badly. She's not what you think she is. She's not a terrorist. She's fighting for justice for ordinary people who were caught in the crossfire. I know you say I distract myself from what's important, but, well, this is important. She is, to me. Anyway, I love you, and I miss you. Keep me in your prayers. Talk soon. Stupid boy. This is no time for romance. Sweet child, the United Nations did not send you all the way across the solar system to get laid. We love to hear from you, but I expect updates on your health and safety, not on your damn love life. Listen to me, because I won't say it again. Go to the nearest medical clinic and get tested. The full STD panel. Those outer planet whores are the worst in the system. If discretion is required, forward the bill to me, and let this be the last we speak of it. Now, go. I'm sure there is something more important you should be doing. And be safe, my sweet boy. Make us proud. Admiral Krusko. The Jupiter fleet is under your command, and I have no intention of disputing your authority. However, I have reviewed the logs for the Ramses too, and I see no direct threat to Juno Station or the Jupiter fleet. Whatever the Martians are doing with that ship, it remains a mystery. One I intend to solve. Am I ready to unwind? Mars, Earth, the belt. Your own damned children. It's all too much to control. Shit! Madam Deputy Undersecretary, I have received a new update from the Director of Operations. Stand by. The time window for restoration of services has been extended indefinitely. Thank you. Does the Director of Operations happen to report to Undersecretary Mendez? Yes, D.O. Tanaka is a direct report. This is no accident. Mendez is trying to block me out of the vault. Forgive me, Madam Deputy, but isn't that a little paranoid? You'd be paranoid, too, if you got fucked over as much as I do. Whatever's causing it, we won't get much done without power. 
You underestimate me, Nissan. My electrical engineering degree wasn't just for show. Word of this gets out, I'll have your testicles as paperweights. Understood, Madam Deputy Undersecretary. Mm -hmm. I learned a few things besides networking at Kano Polytech. Let's hope I remember them. Secretary? What can I say? I live to impress you, Nissan. <laughs> we have power again, but it's limited. Any news from the outside world? The Security Council vote will proceed as planned, but you are scheduled to address the delegates first. The Ramses II is still off course near Juno, and the intervention window is closing. You've received another message from Admiral Kruzko, and you should be able to contact him again. That won't mean shit if I can't make him listen. Did you find any dirt on him? I'm afraid not. Of course, if the Secretary General weren't indisposed, he might share whatever unsealed files he might have. He's safe. I like this dark side of you, Nishan. I learned from the best, Madam Undersecretary. Secretary, this is Admiral Kruzko. I'm afraid the situation near Juno has reached its inflection point. The Martians are now openly flouting system law, and this act cannot go unanswered. I understand your desire for caution in your temporary position, but that is no excuse for indecision. No orders have been issued, but I cannot guarantee the obedience of my captains. They understand that lives are at stake, and they are only human. I implore you to transmit orders as soon as possible. Rusko, signing off. This asshole won't respect me unless I make him. Oh, Christian. I was just about to call you. The Council has set the date for the reorganization vote. It's today, in full assembly. And I don't suppose you'd consider a postponement for the council member who's working from a hole in the ground. Oh, believe me, I asked, begged even. But there's too much momentum. I've made my position clear to you. I am sure I can make it to the other councillors as well. Oh, of course. But the timing is, well... You should get on people's calendars as soon as you can. Jeffrey, I like you. You're ambitious. And you have balls. That's why I am telling you to cancel the boat. You don't want to go up against me. Christian, you are an inspiration. 
I've looked up to you for, well, my whole career. But this motion is moving forward, and last I counted, you were three votes short. Cocksucker. I've populated your screen with five delegates whose votes may be winnable. You should call them and see where they stand. Very good. This is Deputy Governor Dunning. Natalie is Christian. I should have known. Natalie, I need a favor. And you know I wouldn't ask unless it were urgent. Who are we kidding, Chris? You only ever call when you need a favor. So what is it? It's the Security Council vote. Can I count on you to reject the reorganization under Mendes? I like you, Chris. But not enough for charity. Meaning? Shepherd Complex has a faulty filtration system, and it needs updating. But the funds are never there. See that Shepherd gets its new water tower, and I'll support you. I'll see what I can do. You're Christian Abasarala. I expect a lot more than that. Well, this is a surprise. To what do I owe the honor? This is about the vote to reorganize the Security Council. Ah, I see. Well, Jeffrey Mendez is a spiteful worm, and any motion he champions is certainly one I will vote against. So, I have your support. If you make me one promise. I will do whatever it takes. I give you my word. Ah, be careful, Madam Undersecretary. That's a dangerous thing to say in our line of work. For some, but not for me. As of now, I will vote with you against the reorganization. However, whatever happens in negotiations, you cannot raise taxes. If you plan a tax hike of any kind, you will be calling Mendez Sir before the week is out. Do you understand? A more powerful Jeffrey Mendez is something nobody wants. True, but power abhors a vacuum. If Mendez is stopped, who will step in to take his place? You? I understand the situation. And I will make this work. I appreciate the call, Madam Undersecretary. Good luck. Avasarala. Okoro. I've heard that you're undecided on the security reorganization. Only because I knew you'd show up here eventually. I know we've had our disagreements in the past, but your support in this vote is crucial. How crucial? Enough for me to be here kissing your ass, when I should be in New York getting a manicure. So I can give you the vote, but I'll need something in return. Don't keep me in suspense. We're getting a lot of flack from the wealthier tiers of the Earth admin zones. Too many private regulations over spaceport licensing. You're joking. They want the UN Accountability Office to deregulate private spaceports. And they're fine with higher taxes, if that's what gets it done. Very well. I will get back to you. I'm sure you will. But only when your back's against the wall. Does she think I do this to make friends? Is this for real? Christian Abasarala. It's been a long time. Elena, it's been a few years. Years? Come on. You remember the last time we saw each other. Of course. That was a wonderful day we had together. At the ambassador's funeral? Fuck. It had its moments, I guess, but wonderful. You've always been a funny one, Christian. Listen, I need a favor. Let me guess. Mend a security plan? How did you know? Singh warned me you'd be calling. But I understand why you're concerned. Any idiot can see what Mendez is trying to pull. Can I count on you? You may. But only if the proposed water tower in Shepherd Complex never moves forward. Oh, you're not a supporter of the project? 
I'm not a supporter of handing Dunning another fucking victory to pad her resume for committee assignments. I see. I knew you would. Gotta run. Good luck today, Christian. What can I do for you, Madam Undersecretary? I'm coming to you for help with the Security Council's reorganization proposal. Oh, that? I'm afraid the belt's security status doesn't affect the People's Party's platform. Not directly, anyway. Then I would like to ask for your vote. And incur the wrath of Jeffrey Mendez? I don't know how I feel about that. Who's to say that Mendez won't come for you next? Why would he? The party has no quarrel with him. Listen, I want to help. But I have my own issue that I could use your support with. Naturally. The private spaceports of the wealthy are draining resources and crowding public lands. Now some delegates are attempting to remove the limited regulatory oversight we have. Spaceport regulations. That's your issue? That, and raising taxes, of course. The people have spoken. Very well. Thank you for your time, Mr. Weiss. Anytime. We appreciate your support. I've captured the findings from your conversations with the delegates. You can review and prepare your policy decisions when ready. Very good. I'll meet you at your station. Still need to get back to Cruzco. Sure you want to call before you found all the dirt on Cruzco? Admiral Cruzco, here are your orders. You will remain in place. You will not intercept the MCR in Ramses II. Understand, this is not a request, and I owe you no explanation. I will await your confirmation of these orders. Let's figure out which policies I support to get the vote locked in. I have the summary for you to review. Let's give Earth rich idiots even less oversight. Yes on deregulation. Understood. I need Masterson's vote. And she's not wrong about the water tower. It will have to wait. Sounds good. Singh is a single-issue voter, and no new taxes. Got it. Let me double-check these tallies. Congratulations, Madam Deputy. This should secure you the votes. I'll send along your policy commitments to the five delegates. <sighs> Thank fuck. Of course, none of that will matter if I'm not there to cast a deciding vote. I've requested a postponement to the session. In lieu of that, you can always connect in remotely. Now that the power's restored. I'm not banking on it. Keep pressing them. Am I ready for a break? Or is there more to do? That's the good news. But the Security Council still hasn't responded to our request to postpone the vote. No matter. So long as the trains are running, I will be there to see the look on Manda's face when I end this farce. <laughs> Very good. I'll prepare for your imminent arrival. When you're ready. Security breach. Security what breach. What now? Security breach. Lockdown protocols, Archangel. Move! 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 <laughs> Ma'am, this is Private Sharp. 
I know who the fuck this is. Who the fuck else locked me in this prison? It was for your own safety. There's been a security breach in the compound, ma'am. I understand you're only doing your job, Private. But you're being manipulated. There is no security breach. I don't know anything about it, ma'am. Just following orders. We're conducting our sweep now, and we will have the site secure as soon as possible. I can't wait for soon. The boat is happening now. That's the whole point of all this. Sharp, this is your last chance. Obey my orders and let me out of here now, or deal with the consequences. I'm so sorry, ma'am. The consequences are immaterial. I have my orders and must see them through. Yes, yes, motherfucking soldier you are. Dismissed, Private. This might come in handy. Where there's a smoke, there's fire alarm. Come on. your screen. Poor reception. Reinforced walls. I can't get back to the boat from in here. What the fuck is your plan then? Uh, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize. Just blow. Blow! Deputy Undersecretary. Enjoy the R and R, Private. You've earned it. Ma'am, let me out. Nishan, linking you into the session now. If that's all the arguments, we will convene the vote. All those in favor. Excuse me, counselors. I have the deputy undersecretary. Madam, whenever you're ready. Counselors, I apologize for my tardiness. I have been enjoying the Secretary General's underground hospitality today. We all want to increase security in the belt, but this vote will not accomplish it. The measure is A political maneuver. Undersecretary Mendes has no experience in the belt, and putting him in charge is a dangerous overreach. Counselors, my son is stationed on Callisto. No one wants to de-escalate tensions in the belt more than me. But this motion will only lead to more chaos. Thank you, Madam Avasarala. We'll convene the vote then. All those in favor? All opposed? The motion has failed 67 to 66. Security in the belt will remain under the jurisdiction of the Deputy Undersecretary. Thank you, everyone. Meeting adjourned. One last thing, Secretary. I would like to put on the record my personal commendation of one private sharp. For remaining steadfast to his post in the face of tremendous obstinacy by yours truly. 
He's an exemplary soldier, and I see a bright future for him after today. Your commendation has been added to the record. Meeting adjourned. The security protocols are lifted. Ma'am, I don't know what to say. Thank God. Now, get the hell out of my office. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Your office? I rather like the sound of that. Jeffrey, what an exciting vote that was. Indeed. How wonderful that you were able to make it after all. I've been meaning to tell you. An ambassador position has just opened up on one of Neptune's moons. It occurs to me that someone with your ambition would be a perfect candidate. You wouldn't actually create a brand new ambassador position just to send me to the ass end of the solar system? You sabotaged UN security to keep me from attending a boat. I could arrest you for treason, or I could put your ingenuity to good use. Enjoy the trip. I hear Titan is lovely this time of year. Now, wait just a minute! Madam Avasarala, I've received your instructions, such as they were. I found them both insufficient and ill-prepared, respectfully speaking. Shortly after your last message, we initiated an attack on the MCRN Ramses II. We boarded the ship and no threats were discovered. Immediately afterward, Juno reported a spike in insurgent activity. Protests, vandalism far too coordinated to be the work of angry belters alone. While we were chasing our tails, Mars was already working to re-establish order on Juno after the chaos they created. Questions of whether Mars should have sole control over Juno are already being raised, just as the Martians planned. I'm prepared to accept responsibility and only ask that my soldiers not be disciplined for their loyalty in following my orders. I'm drafting the official report. Your oversight will be documented as well. Perhaps we both could have been more thorough. Cusco out. Admiral Cusco. I'm sorry to hear that my orders weren't enough to deter you, and shocked that you would be stupid enough to admit this to me. Your inability to follow a simple order will be discussed at length once you return to Earth. I tell you not to fuck this up any more than you have, but I sincerely doubt that's possible. <sighs> Madam Undersecretary? Yes, Nisa. You know, I feel strangely sentimental about you in this room. I worry that you in the flesh again may be something of a letdown. Madam, it's news from Callisto, and it's not good. Show me. Although all reports have yet to be verified, it has been confirmed that a significant, violent uprising has occurred on the shared MCR UN moon station of Callisto. In what the UN is calling the Callisto Insurrection, Martian-backed laborers in the shipyards of Callisto turned on UN peacekeepers in what is believed to have been a coordinated attack. My god. While tensions have been mounting in the region for some days, the exact purpose of the attacks and any possible coordination with Mars remain unknown. The Martian Congressional Republic has yet to issue a statement. And just in. We have learned that UN Marines are being deployed and are being met with fierce resistance at the station. We are also told that some military officials now believe that a portion of the uprisers may be OPA operatives posing as shipyard workers. It's a message from your son. Uh. 
Listen, I haven't heard back from you yet, and I can't talk long, but I didn't want to go into a mission the way we left things. Madam Undersecretary. I want to thank you for believing in me. I know we don't always agree, but I'm still grateful for your support and even your advice. Sometimes. Christian, they've released the official list of casualties. I didn't want to enlist, but maybe you were right to twist my arm. I've learned a lot out here. I even met someone really special. So thank you. I love you, Mom. I'll call you again soon. You don't know me. My name is Christian Abasarala. I'm Sharnapol's mother. And you must be Marie. <laughs> <laughs> 